Well, I'm so happy to do this interview with you because we just spent six months in Europe. It was amazing. It I was loved wild. it. wild. Praise you, Jesus. Why did we do that, Cameron? Because we are crazy, adventurous people and the Lord. I don't know. I feel like we have this ability if we think maybe a door's opening a little bit. We, like most people like over discern things and that's a huge problem, right? And they're like, man, I've been discerning this for six years. And we're like, we just heard it for six minutes. We're going to Europe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The opportunity presented itself and we were super excited. A lot of our kids' closest friends. I remember someone asking, they were like, your 14 year old and 15 year old are going with you to Europe for six months. And I was like, okay, my 14 year old's literally bringing her two best friends Mm. that both live on our street. So it was a very different scenario. So to clarify for those at home, We didn't take them with us, but their families also came because the husbands and fathers there are professors. And um, Franciscan has a campus in Austria. So I went to co-teach a class. And these dads were also teaching classes. And then our oldest was able to take classes, which was really great. And he made friends with these awesome college kids. Like I didn't know college students could be this amazing. Like we... I don't know if it's because Franciscan only sent their good ones. They knew we'd be talking about them. <laughs> so like vetted them. So only their best students yeah. came, but they were so awesome. No, they were they were cool. It was neat to see who our son, let's not say names, yeah. gravitated towards. Um, these are these good men, like good men, good solid jawline kind of men. Yeah. I like a good jawline. You do. I do. I've always liked a good jawline. Yeah. People who know me say that about yeah. me. Yeah. Um, you know, but daily mass going guys, adoration yeah. guys, but like big into sport, big into hiking, yeah. normal guys who have a beer and yeah. it was neat to see him yeah. gravitate towards. And really, the girls too. Like I yeah. had wonderful people that came to my house and helped homeschool yeah. and they're just so awesome, beautiful girls. So I would say by the fourth day or maybe within the first week, we got an email from one of the professors who does admin work at the university. And she said, ah, uh, hi. It was a WhatsApp message. Like, I need to know what to do with the dozens of email requests I'm getting from all over oh, yeah. Europe for you to come and speak. And that shocked me because I didn't realize how many we people weren't thinking were interested about that? in Pines yeah. with Aquinas. Yeah. And so. Especially it's Austria. People speak German. Yeah. Like, I think in our minds, like it was. Right. Yeah. Do you speak German? <laughs> do I? You'd know. The answer is yes. Fluently. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. So I think at first we didn't know what to think. And then I think I said to you, all right, we can do it if you book everything. <laughs> and I was crazy enough to say, well, sure. I'm so glad you did. Right? But I thought that like, okay, so I knew there was all these people requesting for you to come speak, yeah. but I thought maybe three or four trips would have actually panned out. Yeah. Can I, so I want to read the list of Sure, yeah, yeah. But just so everybody knows, there's an icon of Christ we have here. So here's what happened. I said to Cameron, all right, here's here's the deal we'll make with all these countries. I will come and speak for free. You just have to pay for our flight and put us up somewhere. But you, part of the thing you have to agree to is you have to have priests available for confession whenever I speak. Because it was my goal to preach the mercy of Christ and to drive as many people into the sacrament of confession as possible. Mm -hmm. And then I had this idea of buying this icon of Christ and bringing it to every talk that I went around Europe. And I would invite people to go to the confession and to reverence this icon. So this is the icon here. And I wrote the city and country. uh, And I think I'll even forget where we went. Here's where we went. Oh, it's kind of hard to read. Belfast, Dublin. We went to Cluj-Napoca in Romania, Ljubljana in Slovenia. Geneva, Switzerland, Prague, uh, Utrecht in the Netherlands. That was by Amsterdam, wasn't it? Yeah, that's where we flew in and out of. I spoke in Bratislava in Slovakia, Zagreb in Croatia, Budapest in Hungary, Rome in Italy, and Vienna. Saying it that quickly doesn't sound a lot. It, but it, it was, was every like how many weekends is that? One, so two, we three, didn't... four, five, six, seven, eight. That was eleven weekends. When yeah. you put it that way, that was a and lot. And it was of... in like three months. So we were yeah. there for six months, but we didn't start traveling until way later. Yeah. So it was almost every weekend we were in another country. Like we yeah. had to figure out, wait, what's the currency here? Wait, where are we? And sometimes some of them we drove to. So it was like, yeah, it didn't feel like. 
Like if we were in the States, we wouldn't have even left our state. Yeah. But we're in a whole different European country that speaks totally. a completely different language. Yeah. 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 Hey, thank you so much for watching. Before you go, do us a favor, leave a comment, let us know what you thought of the video, like, and subscribe.